Hello everybody, welcome back. I am at the first park we went to, Getson Dinner Park. Um, I'm here, I have my magnet fishing equipment, but at the same time, I'm also gonna be doing a little bit of uh, river scouring. Finally got some waterproof boots. So I'm gonna see just uh, what kind of treasures I can eyeball. Because I see a few little things scattered around the shore. Most of it's probably trash. But we're going to do some looking around now that I finally can enter the water, for the most part. <sighs> I just have to find a safe way through. How do I want to do this? Whew. Right off the bat, I see some coins in the water. I'm waiting for it to settle so I can reach for them. Yeah. Right there. How can, can you see? Right. Right there. Let me put this away so I don't drench my glove. Oof, water's cold. Yeah, got some coins. I'll clean those up. They look like mostly just pennies and stuff, but I'll definitely clean those up, see what we got. I think there's one more down here. Oof. Good find. Got some coins. Let me put those in my pocket. My bag is down there. Actually, I think I see some more coins over here. I gotta be careful. Yeah, bunch of coins. That's neat. I think that's all of them. Oh, no, we got some more right here. Just a whole bunch of coins right here. Ooh, hand is freezing. Whole bunch of coins. My pocket's gonna be full of coins. Again, I think most of them are just pennies, but hey, money's money, right? It's a cool find. Whew, that water is so cold. There's something right here. I'm trying to figure out what that is. It's very round. It doesn't look natural. Oh, my boot's full of water now. Oh, well. Yeah, here we go. Look at that. That actually looks like, and I'm going to laugh if that's what it is, with this piece, and that round curve with the rope, that actually looks like a piece to somebody's magnet, like somebody went magnet fishing and lost their magnet. And that's not funny, but kind of funny. I'm gonna keep that. Pretty much anything I pull out of the water, I'm gonna take with me, throw away any garbage, but that's pretty cool. We found some cool stuff. We found a, some coins, like a whole bunch of coins. And it looks like somebody's, a piece of somebody's magnet. Oh, I see another coin right here. This one looks a little bit big. Yeah, that one's a quarter. Oh, that's cool. Almost dropped it. Yeah, found a quarter. What's this? Oh, that's a bottle. I don't want to put glass in my pocket.
metal hinge. Oh, hold on, I think we got some more coins. Yep, those are rocks. Some more coins, some kind of hinge. Throw those in my pocket, take a look at them. There's so much here. There's just so much right here. I see something round. Oh, some kind of metal hoop. Oh, pockets are gonna be drenched. Whew. Just kind of eyeballing stuff right now. Because it's really cool. Now that I have water shoes, I can actually walk along through here. Look for salvage. Well, might as well own it because my socks are wet now and now I'm cold. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I dropped it, but that looked like something cool. Yeah, here we go. There's a tag. Hold on. Let me get out of the, let me get out of the water. My boots are full of water. I got to empty them. Get out of the water. It's a tag. Sunset Memorial Park, San Antonio, Texas. That's weird. I wonder what that is. I have no idea what that is. Hold on, I gotta empty my boots. To some degree. Oof. There we go. Okay. Let's keep going. That was cool. I don't know what that tag is. I'm going to look that up later. See if I can figure out what that is. It's a whole bunch of coins. And one of them is a big old half dollar. I haven't seen one of those in ages. 1974. Jeez. I wonder how long it's been in here. There's more coins right here. I'm going to grab as many as I can before my arm freezes. It's two. Oh, my hands are freezing. Something. Is that a coin? What is that? Nope, just a hinge or a washer. <sighs> oh. Some more coins. I think that's a quarter. <sighs> Pockets are wet but full of money. I'll take it. <laughs> right there, that little pool right here. Okay, let's get to the shore. I'm gonna dump out my boots again. Warm up for a second, and then we're gonna look for more coins, because there's so many right here. Oh, and the other one. It's good enough. You gotta wonder how a key ends up over the side of a bridge. Ugh light rock like nobody swims here this isn't a place you'd come to swim you can't get down unless you're crazy like me and scale the edge of the cliff face but there's no way down here like you there's nobody swimming here there's no reason people's pocket things should be in the water it's a nice chain it's not nice I mean it's rusted but it's kind of cool I think I can fit that in my pocket yeah, there we go. Just better not fall in the water, weighted down with metal. <laughs> oh, the water current is strong here. Gotta watch my footing. There's, a, there's two tires here. I didn't even notice those before. Oh, hang on, there's something in the water right here. See that? What is that? Some kind of hinge thing. That's cool. Let me put that in my pocket. Oh, hang on. I think I see another coin. A couple coins, actually. It's a quarter, I think. And a dime or something. It's hard to tell. Oh, there's a little baby catfish right there. He's guarding a coin, though, and I want it. Excuse me, baby catfish. Can I steal your coin? Can I have your coin? Are you gonna bite me? I'm not gonna hurt you. I just want I just want the coin. Thank you. Thank you, baby catfish. Oh, there's another coin. Hi. I'm not gonna touch you. I'm not gonna touch you. You're good. He's right there. I'm not gonna touch you. We'll leave him alone. Little baby catfish hiding under the rock. 
Another coin right here. That was so cute. He's so small. He could definitely turn into a river monster, though. I've seen those. Seen what you turn into. <laughs> oh, this pocket is weighted down. Something right here. I think it's a brick, but I gotta pull it up just to be sure. Yep, it's a brick. Big old brick. It's a thick brick. Some cloth right here. I'm always apprehensive to touch it. But, oh, what is that? It's come, some kind of netting or bag or something. Well, I think we just dislodged it. What is that? Just netting. Let's move this to the shore. I can't, again, I can't take this with me. It's too big, but we'll toss it to the shore just so a fish doesn't get caught in it. Oh, hang on. There's another key. It's got some writing on it, but I'll have to clean it up to see it two keys in the water and a bunch of coins I'm really starting to wonder if like somebody's purse or something got tipped over the edge up there and they just dumped out the contents into the water I gotta be careful that looks like it might be yep razor blade okay I'm not putting that in my pocket there it is okay I see it some kind of old radio or something I have no idea what it is, but I saw it from the bridge and it was tormenting me because I wanted to pick it up. Gotta be careful. What is this? Hang on. Ooh, that's deep. Let me stay out of that. Hang on, I wanna get somewhere sturdy so I can look at this. Yeah, it's like from a car. It's heating and cooling intensity or like heat it's not a radio okay it's not a radio it's like the air conditioning controller from an old car assembled in mexico model okay i have no idea how old this is it doesn't look very modern buttons don't work anymore that's cool some of the coin right here hmm? quarter I think but I can't tell wish I could scale all the way up there I almost feel like I could with all those branches and stuff there let me see if I can adjust the camera at all with all the branches there there's tons of stuff to cling on to I almost feel like I could scale that and go straight up to the bridge which would be so much nicer than trying to scale the banks over here oh more coins that's another factor though is I'm extremely weighted down so I gotta be careful where I step, cause being full of water and metal, I'm a lot heavier than I was walking in here. So gotta factor that in if I'm gonna put my weight on anything. Let me see if I can get to this without taking a swim, even more so than we already are. Just keeping an eye out where I'm stepping. Oh, that's not attached, is it? No, that's not attached. But it's something to hold until we grab that. I don't even know if you can see. I apologize. Not a professional. Just a goofball with a GoPro. Oh, oh yep, that's the joint. <sighs> yes, my nails are painted lovely. They're the, it's supposed to be the trans flag colors, but it came out kind of gross. <laughs> if I'm gonna scale this, I would need to empty out my shoes. <sighs> Let me get some solid footing first though. Might actually be safer in the water on this little plateau right here. Yeah, cool. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna empty out my boots. No, 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 no too far, okay. Just balance. Oh, it's just full of water. Okay. 
Got our bag. Gonna put it on my back like a weirdo. If you could see it, it's kind of on like a backpack. Definitely not the way it was meant to, but it's more convenient if I'm gonna be climbing. Okay. Uh, ready for this madness? Let's do it. I think that's gonna be safer than trying to walk along this shore weighted down. Safer relative term. Okay. Um, plotting my route. I think that's too big a gap for me to cross. I think here I might have a better chance. I just have to watch where I grab because I don't want to grab a snake. Or a spider. There's tarantulas here. Okay. Now I gotta think about it. This is barbed wire. I gotta watch out for that too now. Barbed wire and snakes and tarantulas. You guys having fun? I hope so. I sure as heck am. Why wouldn't I be? This is normal. This is a normal idea of fun. In my face. Branches in my face. We're almost there. Almost there. Oh. Bad time to take a tumble. Go all the way down to the water. Oh. How'd I do? Did I do good? I think I did good. I Alrighty, so as I do with a lot of my finds and a lot of my equipment, I have boiled this in scalding hot water and filled the sink with a ton of rubbing alcohol just to kill any of the little microorganisms living on it. Because that is a problem we've had of finding little parasites and such on some of our finds. So I have boiled them and scalded them with alcohol. The first one we found, I have some of my tools here. Let's open up our drying towel. Have my brush here, not to be mistaken as a toothbrush because it's got duct tape around it. says something and I'm trying to read it. Hmm. I see an E. There's a letter, an E, an E, and a G. It's almost like C-E-E-G, but that doesn't spell anything. Not that I know of, at least. It's a strange... It's almost like twine that they've used to tie this with. I really suspect this is a piece of an old fishing magnet. Onward and forward, we have our little loop. Yeah, and that's probably garbage. I just wanted to get a better look at it. Chain, obviously garbage, but threw it in here just to kill anything on it also. Got a lot of coins in there, but I'll save those for last. This is garbage. It's just some kind of a spool of uh, wire. Washer. Garbage. Okay. Uh, drain some of the water and then refill it so we can see because there's a lot of rust in that water. Okay. This is garbage too. It's just one of those metal clip things. I couldn't figure out what this is. Some kind of a latch. It's a mechanism of some kind. Because so it's machined out so that something fits in there. I have no idea what it is. I'm going to keep that because I don't know what it is. And I don't want to just toss it without knowing what it is. This is what I was really interested in today. Aside from all the awesome coins and keys and stuff. Let's see if we can clean it up at all. It's really corroded and rusted. But we can read it. I wonder if I can... Do an internet search on that number. 
Sunset Memorial Park, San Antonio, Texas, 15099. I'll have to look that up. I don't know what that is. We'll have to find out. So, I found a key. I always keep cool stuff like this. It is a... what brand is that? Access key. So that's modern. This one... Trying to get a good look at it. Their office. I don't know if you can read that, but... Office. I think that's what it says. Here's that half dollar we found. It was from 1974. <clears throat> it's pretty. It's really, I mean, it's brown, but it's got still, blah, still got some good detail. Hello everybody, Story here, or Sam, you might know me as. Um, I spend the next 20 minutes or so cleaning up the coins, and I do have that footage, but it seemed pretty redundant. I go through the coins, and those that I can read are all dated from the 1970s. Some of them are undiscernible, they've lost their faces or they've been corroded by the water. But of all the ones I can read, all of them are from the 1970s. I thought that was really interesting. I suspect they might be a part of a collection, or possibly even from a small collection that was tossed into the river back in the 1970s. Of course, it's impossible to know how long these coins have been in the water, but based on how worn away these coins are, they've definitely been in the water for a decent amount of time. So it's altogether possible these were thrown in the water back in the 70s together. But if not, it means someone's collection of coins from the 1970s somehow ended up in this water in generally the same area. So I thought that was really cool, but instead of making you watch 20 minutes of me cleaning up coins in a sink, I thought I would just explain what I found. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun. We never actually got the magnet out. I didn't need to. We found so much in the river just by eyeballing it. But we found an old 1970s coin collection, and I don't know how it got there. But I, I had tons of fun salvaging it back up. And we can theorize how it got there, but at the end of the day, I'm really glad to have retrieved it. That is so awesome. Like, that's the kind of thing I love to find out here treasure hunting. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you guys again next time in the next video. Bye-bye!